Hello and welcome to Console Accessories. I hope you're staying safe and I hope you're looking after each other. Um, and a little bit of a distraction from what's going on in the outside world, I'm going to bring you this. And this is called the radiator for the Switch. RDS2827, apparently. Uh, now, I picked this up off Amazon a couple of days ago. This cost me 15 pounds. And in the US, it can range from about $8 through to about $20, I think. It seems to be one of these things that is made in China and it's licensed to anyone who, so anyone could, could resell it and put their own name on it. And the people that happen to use this are called EEE -E -E Kit. Okay, so I was saying, I got some, there's a few on there, but this is the one I got. And I'll, I'll link below the one, this is the one that I got. And um, one from Amazon.com. Like I said, if you look around, there's quite a few. And like I said, I've played with this um, all day today and a bit of yesterday as well. And I wanted to, just to show you because it's quite a bizarre product, but I'm kind of in two minds about it. It seems a little bit gimmicky, but I, you know what? I think I might keep using it. Okay, so I boxed it back up to show you what it was like. And um, we've got this kind of awesome looking front screen there with the, I don't know, whatever that is in the background, and the switch, and then the radiator for switch, the RDS 2827. That seems to be quite important to them. I don't know what that means. RDS 287. And the product features we've got exhaust heat dissipation display with temperature and display with speed and something under there that I can't take the sticker off because it would take all the packaging off. And there we go. Okay, quite light as well. So what happens when you get it, when you come in, when you get into it, you essentially get three parts. So you get that piece itself, you get a cable, micro USB, and you get this bit. Okay, it's not difficult to put together because when you flip it over, it's a bit obvious where those three pins go. You just put it in there and fit it in. Okay. Now, and it needs power to work. Before that, we're just gonna weigh it because as you haven't guessed already, it's gonna sit on top of your um, switch. So let's see what, how much it weighs, get the light out of there. So 63 grams, so it's nothing. And what it is, it's an LCD display with three buttons. So that's your power up, that's your power on, and that's your power down. Okay, so, so kind of like your wind speed up and down, sorry, and then your power, easy to say. And then that's it. And um, what happens is I've got, my, I've got my dock here, so if I do it from, from the top, you essentially have to stick that down the back of your switch, okay? Luckily, it's got a nice bit of padding on there to keep the back of your switch nice and on the back there for the, for the dock. So that's really good and it won't, it won't mark your back of your switch and it won't mark your dock either. And it's thin enough to pop down there. And for obvious reasons, you're gonna line it up yourself. You have to line it up. There's no kind of fitting for it. You, you simply just line it up yourself and plonk it on there. Because in there, that's where it comes in and that's where it fires it out. So it's like a fan in there that spins and it pushes air out of there. Okay, so what you do is you feed that into the dock. And if I flip this over, as you can see there. Okay, so my the grills are there, can you see that? And this spongy bit here kind of goes over it. So you just pop that in there like that and it sits on there and forms quite a nice seal for that. There's quite a, quite a nice seal for that. That's really good. Okay, and it needs power. So you can only really, you can do it handheld, but there's no point you to be doing it. It's mainly for the dog, isn't it? So get your USB and you plug it in. And then that goes into the side there with my QSB. And then when it comes on, press the power button. Okay, so I've got to support it from behind because I've got it laying down. There we go. And it's 3000 RPM, I guess, I don't know. And that's the temperature. Okay, and then it rotates. So it goes, it goes the speed and then the temperature and then it will go back to the speed and it will keep going speed and temperature, speed and temperature. And what it does is it measures the temperature first off and then it kind of automatically adjusts the speed to the temperature. So the higher, the hotter your switch gets, the higher the temperature gets on there. So that number will increase and the fan speed goes up. So it's quite, it's quite clever like that. If you want to increase, you can press that and then it goes up like that. I'm not quite sure. There's no, there seems to be no kind of increments for it. 
so 4,000, and then if I press that down, that goes down to 3,700. Up to 4,280, down to 4,050. See, it's kind of, it seems a bit, <laughs> uh, just, you just, you don't think you have to rely on the numbers. You kind of just press down, and then you can press up. Okay, so if I set it up to the fastest seems to be five, three, five, three, five, so nearly five and a half thousand. If I kind of get my mic towards it, I can show you the, um, the, the noise for it as well. So I'll, I'll get it very close, okay? So I'm assuming you can hear that. And then normally what I've been, when I've been playing it, it's been down around the three and a half, four. So if I whack that down to get that back up to three. So three, three, two, nine, oh, 30, okay? So, and so that's that, so if I, okay. So therefore there's this speed, okay? So see if you can listen to this. Okay. It's virtually silent. That's the beauty of this. I've been using this and I haven't heard it once. So it's dead silent. Even when it goes up to the full whack, you can't really hear it. Now you might think that probably not going to dissipate much heat if you can't hear it because you need a good old fan to be doing it. But it seems to be working. I mean, I'm no scientist and I haven't, I haven't been able to properly test you for the temperatures and stuff, but it seems to be working. If that temperature's correct, then it seems to be keeping it down a little bit. Now I know a lot of people were playing, certainly me, playing Animal Crossing for god hours. And I know another game as well as Fortnite that really does burn your Switch, certainly docked, because you haven't got to worry about it on battery. I mean, at least if you're, if you're playing it handheld, it's gonna, if it gets too hot, the battery's gonna burn you, you're gonna have to stop playing anyway, so it's gonna cool down naturally. But when you're playing it docked, it's gonna, it does burn your Switch because it does get really hot. And this seems to bring that temperature down a little bit. So I was going to, if you play Fortnite out there a lot and you're worried about the temperature, this was 15 pounds, about 10, 15, 20 dollars. Do you know what? I, I quite like it. So make sure that the power's on or it doesn't get, get its power for obvious reasons. But I'm, I'm quite impressed by this. It's, it seems to work, okay? I don't know the science behind it, it, but it seems to work for me. And it's not that hard if you want go back onto handheld you're just going to be doing that and just leaving this resting somewhere and then when you go back to docked that goes on there and there you go that's on really really easy to take on and off so overall I'm, I'm quite impressed like I said this is by EEE -E -E kit cost me 15 pounds I think I'll be keeping this because I, can't, I don't think it's going to do any harm because it's definitely dissipating the heat from there yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Okay, so if you've got any questions, do let me know. Um, like I was saying, if you might be a scientist, I'm not a scientist, so I don't know if this is working or not. I've got to be working at some point. So do let me know if, you, if you've got one and you know it's working or if you know that it's not working, I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you've got any questions, drop them in below and I'll happily answer them. And finally, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new down here. And I hope everyone's staying safe. I hope everyone's looking after each other because it's um, a bit of a mad time in the world at the moment and we just like to have a nice distraction every once in a while on YouTube. So I hope you like this video and until the next one, bye bye.